directional stickers and stuff and got them all, like put them all up on a um, cork board. And I had that in my bedroom forever. So the whole idea is I would walk out of my room every day and I'd see this vision board every single day. So I would constantly see it every time it was a reminder of who I wanted to be and what I wanted to be. And, you know, it's pretty amazing when you put some of this stuff into the universe, what happens. So and that's kind of the whole point of this is when you're, when you are putting all these things out there, you're, you're putting your goals in the, in the universe, you're putting them on paper. And I don't know what the statistic is. I probably should have looked it up, but there is a statistic that says, if you put these things on paper, chances are you have a better, you know, there's a better chance of you actually meeting those goals. And I wanted to share with you girls and guys, I made one, let me see if I can change the page here for what I have to do. So this was my one from last year. So I didn't hit everything. I didn't get all the stuff, but quite a few of them I did. We, you know, I didn't buy a lake house or a house with a pool, but I bought a house. So we'll count that. Um, I did sell 30 houses in 2021. I do not have 16 agents on my downline or the revenue share yet, but we're getting there. Um, I took my beach vacation and most, most importantly, I think on this whole thing is I was able to take my kids to Disney. And that was one thing that we really, really wanted to do. And I was like, God, that's going to kill me, but we did it. And it was so much fun. And actually, surprisingly, my boyfriend was like, I really want to go back to Disney. Like he actually really enjoyed it. So um, I'm, I, I'll show you guys. Well, let me go back. I'm going to show you guys the whole thing, but I wanted to show you guys what I did last year. Now, the best thing about doing these vision boards too, is that this doesn't necessarily have to be for 2021 or 2022, like save hundred K. Would that be great for a year? Yes. But do I also think I'm going to save hundred K buy a rental property, buy Airbnb, launch a course, go to Utah, go to Greece, probably not all in one year, unless I have like a fantastic year or hit the lottery or something. But I really, you know, these are things that I want to do eventually. So I'm putting them on paper and I'm putting them out in the universe to where hopefully these things come true. So I'm going to stop sharing for just a minute because I'm going to bring up, oh, there's more faces on here. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to share a different screen. So I'm going to go back. It's actually probably going to bring up this exact same screen. I just have to go out of presentation mode here. Well, maybe not. Hold on here, guys. I tried. I had this all fixed up for us. Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. I had this all set up so I could just click on one screen, but it went away when I clicked X. Anyway, so I'm curious, has anybody ever done a, a board themselves? Has anyone done one, whether it be in Canva or like the, the good old fashioned like cutout papers? I know Cody did one. He just shared the one that he did um, in the po or in the whole feed uh, earlier. So Cody, is yours up? Can you show us yours? Yeah, it's actually on the wall. I like that you framed yeah, awesome. it. Put it a little closer to the uh, to the camera. I love it. I kind of so nice. What are you? What are your plans for YouTube? Um, so I'm trying to get monetized. Nice. It's probably not gonna. It's. I don't think it's gonna be a 2022, but. It's, I'm hoping I have 500 views and like 29 or 30 hours of watch time. I've only been doing it for a couple of months. So that's a amazing. Goal. That's so amazing. That's I'm great. in a accountability and like coaching group. And one of the girls today, or maybe it was yesterday had said that she has been posting consistently to YouTube and just recently got two, $3 million buyers. She's that's in awesome. California. She's in California. So price points a little bit different, but it's pretty amazing when all she's doing is posting free videos and she's getting million dollar buyers out of it. So she, I think she actually got an $8 million buyer too, um, out of YouTube. So, I mean, that's pretty incredible when you think about the fact that you're just putting free content out there and people are like, yep, I like that person. I want to work with them. 
and here's $3 million to spend. <laughs> you know, that's pretty amazing. Um, okay. Kate said that she has been doing them for years and she's accomplished everything on the board. That's amazing. Oh, Jasmine That's said awesome. that she did one that uh, Ferndale Library offered a course. That's so cool. I know that um, there's another in-person one that's coming up that Anna Maria um, Jamil is doing, although she couldn't be on the call today, but she said that um, she's got one coming up soon. She sent me a picture of hers. I don't know if you guys can see this, but she sent one of all the stuff that she wants to do. And she's got a mix of like quotes, photos, like beaches, stuff like that. So there's all kinds of different stuff that you can, um, you can do. So you can do, I, I like to do Canva, but I, I'm obsessed with Canva. So that's probably why I choose to do it on there. It's just easier for me. I'm going to present for you guys again. Now I do want to uh, disclose I did not come up with this whole thing. Um, this is actually one that the Girls with Grit group did uh, last year, I think, or maybe the year before. And um, it was really, really good. So I took it and used, I think a majority of it. I did switch some things around, but this is, you know, the whole, the whole thing. Like, what is your why? We've talked about this on a couple different um, yep. podcast or different masterminds, but that's, that's where it comes from. That's where we're starting from. That's our core. What is your big why? And maybe you've wrestled with it, but it's really about getting specific. And what they said was there's beauty in the struggle. And that's where we get to know ourselves better. Your big why is something you plug into emotionally. It needs to inspire you and drive, drive you when things get tough. It's not a wish or a goal. It's actually why you do what you do. So when you're trying to find out what that goal is or what that purpose is, there's lots of questions you can ask. So you guys, if you want to take a screenshot, you can screenshot this and you can write out these questions and it will help you kind of figure out a little bit more about what you want in your life. And that will help kind of propel you for the future by figuring out what these answers are and will actually help you make a decision on what you want your vision board to look like. Now, and we've talked about this a million different times, your why, it's not a why forever. It can change. It can fluctuate. It can be this why from January to June. And then in June, maybe your why changes. Um, for instance, Julie and Lee, they had a specific why, and then their daughter got accepted to college early. So their why got bumped up a little, a few months so that things got changed and that's fine. Maybe your why is, you know, for me, I wanted to buy a new house. Well, I did that. So now I need a new why. you know, my next thing. So it can change based on where you are and what season you are in life. And it can change a million different times in a year. And that's okay. You can alter your vision board as much as you want. You can add things, you can delete things, you can do whatever you want to make it fit that part of your life. So once you decide on your why, you can move forward to your visions and goals. So the dream or the vision board is a visual reminder of your goals. And in order to reach those goals, you have to remember your big why and keep you accountable to it. So the best thing about this is we're using Canva because it's easy to plug and play. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it if you guys aren't familiar with it. And I'm gonna show you mine for this year. So one of the exercises you can do, this is another thing you could do to take down um, or screenshot, are to list words or a list words that describe what you wanna do this year. They're action words. Um, so example, encourage, attract, empower, include, inspire. Any of those words, I think these were what um, I had changed all these last year for my own. So I wanted to encourage people. I wanted to attract like-minded people to my life. I wanted to empower those around me. I wanna be inclusive with everybody so everybody feels like they're a part of the group or a part of um, you know, the important group of people I keep in my life. And I wanted to inspire people who you know, may be in a similar situation to me where they could, or even not in a similar situation, where they could um, know that they, they can do more. So uh, number two is, what do you want people to say about you? What is your legacy? And I think sometimes we look past, we look, we're, we're not looking that far ahead. We're not really necessarily thinking about what legacy are we, are we reminded, you know, or, or what legacy are we leaving behind for people? And it's, you know, it's kind of a grim thing to think about, but if, if you were thinking about your funeral and what people would say about you, what would you want them to say? 
And that's the kind of life you have to lead. Obviously, nobody's going to say she had really great shoes or, you know, whatever it may be that that's not going to necessarily be something that people are going to remember you for. I mean, maybe if you had really, really good shoes, but either way, I want to be remembered for always being willing to help being a great listener and that they could be themselves around me and that there's no judgment. I should add that in there too. And then what do you want more of in life? Um, what is the, what is the thing that you feel like maybe you're lacking in, or maybe you just want to see more of, or something that is close to your heart that you just, you know, want more of in your life. So I wanted more joy, more patience. Cause I am not a very patient person, kindness, collaboration, inspiration, and happiness. Those are things that I really wanted. And I still want, I think these, even though I wrote these out last year, these are still very very true to this day. And then what do you uniquely offer to the people, people of your circle of influence? So what I wrote was space to feel comfortable, room to be yourself, creativity, opportunities connect and open mindfulness. I want people to feel like they're included. That's, I mean, if you think about all of that, I really want people just to feel safe and comfortable. So you can take those things and you can do like a mad lib style thing where you fill in the blanks and you can draft kind of like your vision affirmation statement. So in 2022, I will blank. So you could say, I will encourage, attract, empower, include, and inspire, allowing me to, well, that doesn't really work, but allowing me to basically be um, helpful and a great listener and make people feel comfortable being around me. And I'm com and I am attracting more joy, patience, kindness, collaboration, inspiration and happiness into my own life while bringing a space to feel comfortable, room to be yourself, creativity, opportunities to connect and open mindfulness to the people around me. So you can tweak it to however you want to do it. So you can take this, screenshot it and do your own Mad Libs to really help with kind of what you want to do. So I'm going to call on a couple people here and just see what you guys would make for what you guys would have for your answers. So I'm going to say, Julie, what would your action words be for 2022? I know I'm putting you guys on the spot. Sorry. Okay. I, I can't copy what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of have the same goals though, as Nicole does. Not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to copy you, but you know, my big goal for this year, I mean, it has always been a goal is to grow our team. And along those lines, I also want to attract people by being helpful, by encouraging, by supporting, being very supportive, very helpful, because let's face it, that's what we all need. We all need our tribe. And so um, just being very inclusive, very helpful. And that's kind of my action words too. That's, that's what I want to do. I like it. All right, let's go with... I'm going to pick on, I'm going to say, Angela, what would you say your action words would be this year? Um, I don't know. I was trying to think. Uh, I know um, it's hard. I'm, I'm sorry I'm putting I'm, you on the spot. No, it's fine. Um, well, I wanted to elevate. Um, that was like my word that I picked for the year. Um, Am I filling in the blanks down here or no? Well, no, just really what your action words would be. So I love that your word is elevate because I've seen, you know, you're, you're constantly trying to grow and elevate your business and elevate who you are as a person. And I've seen that in the time that I've known you, that you're mm -hmm. trying to, you know, just be the best version. So I think that's a great word. And I mean, you could pick multiple words or you could just pick one. You don't have to have yeah. multiple. So I think elevate is great. Okay. Um, all right, let's do... Da, 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 da. Let's do Andrea Kidder. What would you have one of your action words be? Um, I have supportive, and then I do have some of yours too, but um, yeah, I put supportive, grow, include, inspire. Perfect. All right, so what would you want your legacy to be? So I'm going to pick on Nikki. What would you want your legacy to be? I know I saw that face. <laughs> <laughs> My legacy. Um, hmm, let's see. That's a hard one. I know. I know it is. You have to really think about like, 
what you want people to take away. Like if somebody was talking about you in another room and you, they were like, oh my gosh, Nikki is, what would that be? Nikki is awesome. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> um, I would say that I'm supportive and encouraging and determined. That's a good one. I think would be good ones. Um, you know, I, I think it's very easy for people to get like a one track mind. So everyone, I'm guilty of it too, but I hope that people would say that I am, um, eager to teach people that I'm not just so, you know, self-focused that I'm not helping others grow with me. Perfect. I like that. Awesome. All right. What do you want more in your life? I'm going to pick on somebody I haven't picked on yet. Lee, what would you want more in your life? Oh, of course, uh, you're going to ask me that question. Uh, I, I want more freedom is what I want. I mean, that's, that's a simple question. And, and that goes back to the previous question that you asked is what do I want to be remembered for? And it's, you know, humility it's transparency, it's integrity, all those things will lead to more freedom because it'll allow, you know, me to be successful in what I'm doing. Perfect. I love that. All right. I'm going to pick on Kate since she, I know she said that she does these a lot. So Kate, if you're there, what would, what do you want more of in your life? Maybe, maybe not. All right. We're going to jump to somebody else because she might be on a call or something. Um, let's do Israel. Are you available? Uh, yep. I'm here. Can you, All right, what would you, what do you want more in your life in 2022? Mm, I want to be able to maximize more time. Like I, that's, that's really key for me is maximizing more time. Like I'm, I'm, I'm breaking down everything I do, even to the most minute, detail of where my time is going if you're sleeping six hours if you're doing this like when you really look at I have 24 hours what am I doing with my time yeah right so so for me it's just maximizing that time and being in the moment of whatever I'm doing in that time making the most of that time so for me that's that's really what I want to capitalize on I like that all right Jasmine what do you want more in your life in 2022 support um i'm pretty good of driving and getting my own support for myself but it feels good to have others support you too so more support i like it perfect all right put her answer in the chat too oh good. i can't see the chat so if somebody oh, wants can? to read it yeah. well i could see it. i realize now when i scroll over i can see it but if you want to read some of the things that people are putting in the yeah. chat go ahead um, Kate said more action, fun, and quality activities. I can totally agree with that. I like you that. You have to yeah. focus on fun. Um, Cody said authenticity and positivity. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Good All stuff, right. guys. So what do you uniquely offer to the people in your circle of influence? I'm going to call on Kristen Berry. Ah, I'm eating lunch. <laughs> <laughs> No judgments. Don't worry. <laughs> what I would offer is most of my friends need common sense. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> You're hilarious. All right. Um, Patricia, what would you uniquely offer the people of your circle of influence? Uniquely? Um... Something some way I can serve them and maybe, um, wow, that's a good one. <laughs> I know it's hard when you have to think about it, right? Yeah, especially on my, on my feet, just like that. Um, I, I would like to be able to provide value in some kind of way, shape or form. So maybe if it's somebody that likes data, just send it maybe a market report or a CMA doing a CMA or a yearly review, something like that. What about to like your, your friends or your close colleagues or anything? What would you say that you offer them as like an individual? I'm a great listener. So if they um, need help or need advice about something, I'm always there. 
to help Perfect. them in that regard. That's great. I love that. That's great. So as you can see, you can take these questions and kind of break them down and then insert them. And you can pretty much, it's, if you see at the bottom of the screen, you can make that into one big mission statement basically for the year. So you guys can take that, write that out, and maybe you could even use that as inspiration for when you do your vision board, or maybe even print it out and put it right in the middle or write it out and put it right in the middle of your board. So you know exactly what you're inviting into your life for the year. Now, let's see, I can't remember if I have another page or not. Let's see. Okay. Yep. So here's another great way, and I can provide this to you guys as well. So these are things that you can write out. You can print this out or do this right in Canva and you can put out all the stuff, what your name is. What do you, what are your goals for the year? What's your goal for your physical, mental, spiritual, financial, all of these parts of your, your life? What is, what are the things you want? What are the things you want to try? What are your dreams? What do you want for your family life? What do you want for your home? And what are your goals overall? So I will show you what I put. So what I want for my physical, I want to work out at least four times a week. I want to feel more confident. I want to be more comfortable in the gym. Um, some of you who know me know I used to be like very active and I fell off the wagon for a while. And it's still hard for me to go into the gym and feel comfortable again with lifting weights and stuff and not being able to lift as heavy as I used to. And just basically just being more comfortable. I want to be able to do at least 10 unassisted tricep dips. And I want to be able to do 20 plus pushups on my toes, not my knees, because I used to be able to do this and I know I can do it. So I just got to get back into it. So those are what I want for my physical, my mental. I wanted to start a gratitude journal, take more time for myself, read more books, focus on the gain and not the gap. So if you haven't read the book, the gap in the gain, read it. Um, and I want to continue working on me and dig digging deeper on who I am as a person a little bit of human design, which is in the next part. So spiritual, I want to continue to work on manifest manifestation, work on mindset and human design. Financial, obviously, I want to save more money. I think most of us do. I want to eat out less, curb spending on nonsense things because I feel like I'm forever buying something on Amazon, um, save more money or move my money into a higher earning IRA or savings fund. This year, I want to take two family vacations. I want to have a steady pipeline through the year. I'd like to do quarterly brand photos. I want to grow my supportive circle of friends. I would love to hit icon again with eXp. Um, things I want to try. This was on some of my stuff last year. I still want to fly first class. I've only done it once in my life and it was back in high school and I want to do it again. Um, I want to swim with manatees or dolphins or both. Uh, I want to try some new workout classes, just something to switch things up, stick to a meal plan or in a workout plan. I wanted to work on my miracle morning, which I already started, um, which also would be the next one. Get up early, work out, start my day, um, create more items on Etsy for passive income. My dreams, eventually, um, I'd love to start an actual team with buyers, agents, and admin eventually. I would love a cabin or a lake house, and I want to have a vacation house somewhere warm. So obviously these are big goals. I'm not going to do this this year probably, but these are my big goals. Um, family life, more family time together. Um, you know, it, it's heartbreaking when you realize, for instance, I'll just tell you guys my, this is my vulnerable part. I realize my daughter's in ninth grade. She's only really going to be in the house for maybe three more years and I'm divorced. So I'm only really going to have her a year and a half. And it literally broke my heart and had me in tears the other night when I was thinking about, I'm not ready. Like I'm not ready to let her go. I'm not ready for that. So I want to make sure I'm spending more family time and doing more family vacations and doing things that I know that they love and that they're going to remember. So like I said more family time, family vacations. I'd love to take them to Hawaii. I would love to do that this year. Um, I don't know if it's a possibility, but that's on my list. And my kids love to snowboard. We taught them to snowboard last year and they absolutely love it. And it's something that's great. So for my house, I have plumbing to do. I have a sewer pipe that has a crack in it. Um, I want to add lights to my bedrooms and I want to redo the bathrooms and eventually finish the basement. And my goals for this year, I want to sell 50 homes, 
I'd love to have 20 active agents on my front line and I'd love to do 20 million in sales. I don't know how that works with the 50. It was just a number I'm throwing out there. And I would love to eventually bring on a virtual assistant, buyer's agents and admin. So this is all something that obviously took me some time to think about. This is not something I'm gonna call on anybody about, so don't panic. Um, it's something that you should really, you know, print this out or open it up in Canva and really think about the things that you wanna do and the things you wanna try. And when you start checking things off, you know, honestly, I filled this out a few days ago and I didn't even remember that I put on here more miracle morning or, um, you know, what was the other thing that I was talking about somewhere on here? There was something else that I didn't even realize I had put on here again. Gap and in the game. Maybe it was, I don't remember either way. I put something on here and I was like, man, I've already started it. That's great. <laughs> so, you know, it's something that's, I've already finished miracle morning and I'm, I started today. So you know, I think that that's one of those things, like you put these things on here and put it out in the universe and then all of a sudden it happens. So I'm going to go to the next page. I can't remember if I have another page. Sorry, guys. I'm going to show you, I'm going to stop sharing for a second. I'm going to open my other page. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, Cody said, I love the focus on the gain and not the gap a hundred percent. That is something that, Oh, Julie, my why is making you cry. <laughs> um, my why makes me cry too. That's what it's supposed to, right? Um, the gap and the gain is one of the most, I think, powerful books that I've read in a long time. And if you guys haven't read it, we've talked about it a hundred times, but it is such a good book. And it really, I can think of a dozen people right now who focus on the gap and not the gain and it shows. And so, you know, one of those things I think you really have to focus on is your mindset. And so that's one thing that that's why it's on my vision board so many times is that you can't get stuck in that, in the gap, you have to be stuck on the gain. Um, all right, let me show you guys this other thing. Sorry, my computer is not cooperating with me. Screen share. Why is it not coming up? I'm sorry, hold on. Oh, because somehow my Chrome completely closed. I don't understand why everything can be smooth until I get on Zoom. Like we've had that how many times? And then as soon as you're on Zoom, I had everything like lined up so I could just like click on each tab. Of course, it doesn't work that way. All right. So let me pull up what my vision board looks like this year. And then I'll show you guys how you can do this in Canva yourselves. Or if you choose to do this on paper with magazines or whatever, print these things out and, and put them on your board or write the words out, whatever you guys want to do, have at it. This is your time to be creative and get in touch with yourself about what you want. All right, let me speak. I made a coffee cup. I think I told you guys, I made a coffee cup of my um, my vision board. And yeah. I printed two posters for the Canva. The coffee cup hasn't come yet, but I'm super excited for when it does. It's such a good idea because every morning you're gonna be like drinking your coffee, looking at all your stuff. I think that is such a smart idea. Where did you do that from? Was it through right in Canva? When you go to print, it, it'll say like coffee cup. And I'm like, no way, a coffee cup? Like, that's my jam. And I got two posters one smack right in my kitchen, and then the other one's in my office, like in my face. I think if I could make a blanket of, oh, a blanket, that would be a cool <laughs> thing too. What about like a phone case, like a phone cut, or even yeah. just. Oh, like, that'd be cool too. I don't you know. know. Or your, oh, we got your screen, you know. Yeah, you could do it on your backdrop of your screen. So this yeah. is my this is yeah. my vision board for 2022. So some of the stuff has transferred, some of the stuff I've removed, some of the stuff has changed. Um, still want to do Utah, still want to go to Greece, want many more beach vacations. So that's still on there. Um, Cabo. Cabo, yeah, I'm going to Cabo. That's gonna yeah. well, I I want more than just Cabo, but we'll Cabo yeah. count. Um, I want to read more, which that's something that Audible has let me, I'm not a 
sit down and read type of person. So Audible has been like my best friend. Um, I want to cook more at home, swim with the manatees, start a podcast with Miss Nikki Wolf over here eventually once we get our stuff together. <laughs> um, shoot lots of videos and run successful ads. I know, um, I know, uh, where are you at? I'm looking, oh, I was looking for on the side. Patricia knows what I'm talking about. She's in the coaching program with me. Um, I want to grow most, more spiritually and manifest my dreams. And thank you to Jennifer for this uh, manifest that shit <laughs> idea because she had that shirt on the other day and I love it. Um, I changed my uh, cell 50 homes. I am not getting a Lexus, but I am getting a new car this year. So it will look similar to that, but not exact. My dream car is going to stay the same because I really want that car. Um, I want to work out four times a week and feel confident. Eventually, I would love to have an Airbnb, um, and then I'd love to flip a house. Um, I don't. I would. The idea of it sounds great. Logistically, I don't know, but I'd love to do it. Um, so that's this is what mine looks like, and I'll show you guys how to do your own. What kind of car is that? Out of curiosity. The one in the bottom. Yes, the dream car. Audi. Oh, okay. Yes, I love Audis. Audi. I'd have to look up. I can't remember what it is. It's like a RX something and it is beautiful. My, nice. one of the dentists I used to work for, her husband had that car and I was like, that's the one I want right there. Mm -hmm. Give me that car. It's a nice ride. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, all right. I'm going to stop sharing so I can show you guys how to do, I didn't mean to completely get out of this, but we'll go back again. I'm going to show you guys how to, and I think a lot of you probably already know how to utilize Canva, but I'm going to show you guys anyway, how you can drag and drop. And again, you can do this and you can make this into a, um, of course, this is going to go so incredibly slow because I have so many screens open or so many things open here. Let me try to do this. You have more tabs open than me. I know it's embarrassing. And then it kicked me out again. Hold on. This is painful. Sorry, guys. All right. So basically what you're going to do is all I did was I created a page that was just landscape. Um, you can do, if you want to do portrait, however, you can resize right over here. Um, I just created a, I just had a blank document. So I'll show you guys what I did. So I add a page. It's just going to show up with the plain old background. You can change the background if you want to. All you need to do is go over to the side here. Now I do have Canva Pro for anybody. Um, you might, if you're not in Canva Pro, you might have limited um, photos and stuff. So if you don't have that, just know um, I am using Canva Pro. So all you're really going to do. So this is one I use for the podcast. So I was trying to fit it in. So I just shrunk it down a little bit by dragging these and you can slide it over wherever you want and go to your next thing. So say the next thing I wanted to do was a beach. We'll do Jennifer beach yoga. So add, I know, and I know that she talked about wanting to do beach yoga. So I'm going to put that on here because I know that that's something that she likes. So you can make them as big as small, or small as you want, <laughs> however you want to. Um, let's say you want to do, I know Lee wants to have 500 agents on our team by the end of the year. So maybe we grab a 500. I'll go a step further to challenge people. And I wish I would have thought about this before I printed mine. Take a picture of yourself and superimpose your face on someone else's. Like that beach yoga, like I would have put my face on it. But I already printed my stuff. So now someone else has to do it. I love it. Well, that's smart. I like that. Um, let's see. So you want to do, oops, not that I want to do Greece. So you can just type in all these things. This is the picture I use and you can just drag and drop however you want. And if it gets to be too much, scrunch them down, make them smaller. Like obviously with mine, I was really like moving things around and shifting things, trying to get things on here. I put the icon agent logo on here because I want to hit icon again. You know, so you can just kind of scooch things around a little bit to make it exactly what you want. You can do this however you want. Let's say you want to do um, a bunch of 
circles or you want to just do drag and drop squares you can go over to elements on the left and type in frame and you can put a circle and then let's say you want to read more books you can drag and drop the picture of the book and you can do like little circles all around or whatever it may be however you want maybe this year um you want to have a baby put a picture of a baby on there whatever you want put do whatever you want to do um but that's probably the easiest and quickest way to get everything and if let's say obviously the audi is not going to be on there so go to google download an image let's see audi rx something it's not this but we'll just use this anyway Cody thought it was an R8. It's not an R8. It's no? a R. Uh, I don't remember. I have it written down somewhere because I wanted to remember it. <clears throat> Try S8. S8? Maybe that is what it is. It's a S8. A, oh no, it was RS5. I think it's RS5. No. No, maybe not. It looks too big to be the five. <laughs> Could be. All right. Well, I'll trust you. Whatever. Let's just say, okay, we'll just use this car. Good enough. This will be fine. Oh, and now I open it up in something else. So you can save the image or actually probably even easier. Hold on. It's going to take a second. Now it's going to try and save. If I can copy the image, go back to Canva, and then I can paste it. And now I can have my dream car on the board. And you can do whatever. So you can do something very easy like that. So if you have very specific things that you want to put on there, you can choose anything you want. So you can really make this 100% yours. If you want to get crazy and, and superimpose your face, like Jen said, feel free, <laughs> whatever's going to get, whatever's going to hit your goals for the year. Um, you can do it really easily. And if you want to, um, if you noticed in the background of this, let me remove some of this stuff. I actually just typed in vision board. Let me show you guys. So I went to templates and typed in vision board and there's a few options that come up. So you could actually take this and drag and drop things that you want or type out what you want um, to do the text. We're just going over here, typing what we want. Increase vacay goals, and you can just stick it over there. So you can do kind of however you want to do this. I mean, you could do something creative like this or something a little bit more cluttered, but it's all there like that. Does anybody have any questions about anything? I think it's so important. Nobody captions because, you know, I've done it before and it's just a bunch of pictures. And so you look at it, oh, you know, I just think there's so much focus in actually stating exactly why that picture is on the board. So I love that. I like Nikki said, we're going to go for a ride in that baby when you get that car. Heck yeah, I'll <laughs> get you anytime. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, okay, Bill said, can you share the link for that book or a picture of that book? Yes. Here. I sent it to her. I couldn't get the picture in there for some reason. I'm on my phone though. Here, I'll um, type it. Yep, and uh, another thing too to remember is don't make this vision board a secret like tell people about your dreams and your goals constantly because it will reinforce them to you and it will put it out there and it just adds so much more power to it true very true that's why that's why she's got it in her office in her kitchen she's got it on a coffee cup she's got it everywhere because she wants a constant reminder of her goals. Same thing with Jen, your, your goals changed too. You went from you know, yes. having your, your very attainable goal to like a big goal. So Huge. you know, goals changed overnight almost. So, you know, and things can, things can change. Maybe a parent gets sick and now you need to help support that parent. And now all of a sudden your goals and your why have changed. So um, Jasmine said, Good tip about opening up. I usually keep it to myself. Yeah. 
I mean, sometimes goals are scary. I, I've had a hard time and I've been, I think I've been kind of open about this. I've had a, I have a hard time with telling people my goals because I don't want to fail. So I don't tell people the things I want to accomplish because I'm afraid that they're going to think less of me if I don't achieve that goal. So I kept it to myself. And now I'm kind of just like, all right, I'll share my vision board with all 20 of you guys and, you know, hold me accountable. <laughs> That's why I put it in my kitchen. I want someone to come and ask and go, what's that? What is yeah. this you got here? I love I'm it. Like, oh, well, that's Where's my beach that? house. Oh, you have that? I will. My kids keep asking when we're moving and how soon do we need to pack for the house? Well, we got, we got to get you to Florida eventually. Anyway, well, does anybody else have any questions or anything they want to say? Or if you have a vision board or have made one in the past, you want to share it or share anything that helped you kind of um, figure out your vision board? I just think it's so important to expose it everywhere, like you said, and do more than one. You know, I vote, I do them in the big ones on the poster board, and then um, we change offices or redo the office, and it gets stuck behind the file cabinet. You know, never to be seen again. <laughs> it's not doing anybody any good. So I think yeah. smaller is even better. So you you know make it mobile, make it like I liked Cody's on that camera. Yeah, I love what he did. Yeah, that was really it. cool. So, yeah. There's something make it so huge that you won't see it, you know, because there's no place to really put it. Yeah. Um, something I, I did last year that I thought was really helpful and really cool, um, kind of a mindset thing, but also like a, like just putting things into the universe. Um, I took a piece of paper and I wrote, it was actually pretty big. I tore like a big poster board in half and I wrote on one side, all the words that I wanted to like eliminate from my life, like negativity. Um, I wish I, I think I got rid of it when I moved, but it was like negativity, imposter syndrome, um, unhealthy, uh, inactive, what I, like all these words I wanted to like leave in the past. And then on the other side, I wrote all of the words that I wanted to embrace for the new year. And I wrote out all of these words and like the whole thing it had to do with like the moon and all that stuff. I feel like you guys get into that. Um, it had to do with like the moon and you did it on a certain day. And, but it was really, it was really awesome to actually take it all down and write out all the words. And the more you started thinking about the words you wanted to eliminate or the things you wanted to eliminate from your life, like toxic people, um, non-support, like non-supportive people or whatever, maybe you just kept, I just kept writing and writing and writing. And then it, the same thing happened when I flipped it over and started writing all the positive things that I wanted in my life. Like I know Jen recently wrote down all her limiting beliefs and then threw it in the fire and watched it burn. It. Like, it felt oh, so good. That was amazing. It was, it was really cool. It will be something I repeat. Jess says she does that every year on New Year's Eve. That's perfect. Is that when you I did it, it, Jen? That was awesome. Yeah, I think those are those things like, it's just, it's like, what are you inviting into your life? Same thing with gap and the gain, which we've, you know, it's the same thing. It's like, what are you, what are you focusing on? What are you allowing into your world? What are you not? So I think this is um, some good homework for you guys. I will post the um, Canva link for you guys to have the templates. I'll, I'll, I'll share the whole thing with you. Um, so you guys can have the templates so you can see um, and fill it out. Like I said, you can print it right out if you want to fill out that pink form, um, or if you want to just do it right on at uh, right on Canva, you can. And then I'd love to see what you guys do. So if you're yeah, willing, we, to share, we should all post uh, post our boards in the like the comments. Yes. Of, exactly. of the post. Okay. So that's everyone's homework assignment this week. I would love to see it. I would love to see what you guys have. Cody's ahead of the game because he already posted his. But I would love to see what you guys come up with because I think it's it's empowering to put put your goals out there. So absolutely. All right. So next week, you guys, we have a great speaker coming on. She's from the area here. She's from Michigan. Um, her name's Keisha Weebly. She's going to be on talking about stepping outside of your comfort zone on social media. So some of you. Uh, may have remembered she was supposed to present before and then um, we had to cancel it for whatever reason. I can't even remember. So we rescheduled her and she's coming back next week talking about stepping out of the comfort zone on social media, which I know a lot of us 
need to do. So join us next week on Tuesday and we're gonna same bat time, same bat channel, whoever that was. And we'll uh, have her on. Thank you so much, everyone. That was awesome presentation. Thanks, Nicole. Nicole. Good stuff, Bye, thank everyone. you. See you guys. Thank you. Week.